We have a solid circular shaft which is made of 18 nickel meraging steel 250 and it is subject to the tensile axial force of 250 kN, a bending moment of 4.6 kN meters and a torque of 8 kN meters. Our goal is to determine the safety factor against yielding. First, we are going to calculate the normal stresses and the shear stress. The stress caused by the tensile axial force is P over pi r square. And when we substitute the values, it will become 250 kN over pi times 25 millimeters square. And we will have sigma p is equal to 128.27.3 MPa. Stress caused by the bending moment will be mc over i. And we can say that sigma m will be equal to m times r over pi over 4 times r to the power of 4, which is 4m over pi r cube. Let's again substitute the values. And we will have sigma m is equal to 374.84 MPa. And finally, we will calculate the shear stress caused by the torque. And it will be Tc over the polar moment of inertia. We can also write it as Tr over pi over 2 times r to the power of 4 and it will be 2t over pi r cube and again I am substituting the values and we have tau t is equal to 325.95 MPa. Now we have two cases. One is tension and one is compression. In case of tension, sigma x will be equal to sigma p plus sigma m. We know that the first is tensile, so sigma p is already a tension stress but we are assuming that sigma m is also tensile so it will be equal to 502.14 MPa and tau xy will be equal to tau t which is 325.95 MPa and in case of compression Sigma x will be sigma p minus sigma m in this case and it will be minus 247.54 MPa and tau xy will be again tau t and it is 325.95 MPa. When we consider the tension case, our A will be sigma x over 2, which is 502.14 MPa over 2. And our R will be sigma x over 2 square plus tau xy square, and it will be 
411.4. Thus, sigma 1 will be equal to a plus r, which is 662.5 MPa. Sigma 2 will be equal to a minus r, which is minus 160.4 MPa. And sigma 3 will be 0. And when we consider these principal normal stresses, sigma 1 minus sigma 2 will, the, will give the largest value and it will be sigma s. And it will be equal to 822.9 MPa. Let's calculate the compression case. In this case, A will be again sigma x over 2, which is minus 247.54 over 2. And R will be and it is equal to 348.7. So when we calculate sigma 1, which is equal to A plus R, we will get 224.9 MPa. And sigma 2 will be A minus R, which will be minus 472.4 MPa. And finally, sigma 3 will be 0. And in this case, our sigma s will be sigma 1 minus sigma 2 because they have the biggest difference and it will be 697.3 MPa. When we compare these two cases, we see that the sigma s for tension is larger. So we will consider this sigma s while calculating the safety factor against yielding. We know that the safety factor, let's say this is ST so that we can understand we, considering, we are considering the tension case. It will be equal to the yield strength over sigma s and it will be 1791 MPa over 822.9 MPa and we will obtain xst is equal to 2.5. 176.